Hello everybody and welcome back. I'm Cam Christo and this is the Imperial British Campaign. Thank you ever so very much for joining me. What is this force? There's the Home Port Defense Force. You should probably have a general. Just on principle, right? The Norwegian Defense Force can get infantry expert assigned. It seems, it seems valuable. But you guys, you guys got any traits? God, there's a lot of hostile minds in the Black Sea right Come now. On. That's interesting. I wonder what's driven him to do that. Oh, and this guy can actually command 30 troops. Okay. Ready, well, here you go. Have some more men. He's got the uh, supply limit on the right-hand side anyway. So we'll see. Today is the day we get the Germans br bashing into us in a prepared defensive position. And we see if we can hold. And, uh, I don't know. I'm not... I'm not highly optimistic. Meanwhile, in the east, we continue to lose subs. Oh, God! Okay. So this is, this is good intel, though. This is what we need to be able to face. Some 36 carriers, a lot of destroyers. Just a huge torpedo attack. Ten capital ships, including no modern ships. Okay. I have a new plan. The new plan is you guys stay at home. For now. We're going to send the modern army, modern navy. We're going to send these guys. I mean, they're not actually that modern, to be honest. They're not even that much better than what I've just seen the, China, the Japanese have. But what we are going to do... <clears throat> okay, we're going to create a force to face the Japanese navy head on. And it's going to include all these guys for some screening. And it's going to need some freaking screening. And any new scouts and screens we get produced are going straight in there. And now this force is going to deploy to the east. Base yourselves out of Singapore. And get yourselves over there. And yeah, remove all regions. Just go over here. Now, meanwhile, uh, I think our our eastern forces need to need to cease operating. Yeah. Just, just hold. Don't, don't do anything. You're allowed to repair. Yeah. And you guys need to um, switch. To do not engage and get the heck out of that combat alive, preferably. And we'll stop raiding. Meanwhile, in Malaya, okay, things aren't too dire. We might be able to take this port if I'm lucky. Might just be able to extract Malaya. This area. What's that? <clears throat> the United States is almost capable of claiming leadership of the faction because they have 1.8 million of the 4.5 million deployed manpower. Yeah, I, I'm not overly concerned. Damn it, France! Those men, me, my control over those men is the only hope for Vietnam. Meanwhile, we're just holding them back in the north. The Chinese have made good gains in the center. That's good. If we can just hold... Oh, shh. That's really bad. We need to make sure they don't take Hanoi. That could cripple the whole Chinese front if they can cut us off here. Oh, and there's the naval invasion. It looks like we're holding it easily. That's excellent news. Really excellent. Meanwhile here, our break in the south did not work. Let's try and hold those in the forests. And Saigon has fallen. No! That's so bad. They have, however, abandoned... Oh, no, there is a man there, even though I, he doesn't seem to have an icon. Interesting. Oh, Jesus. A bunch of Mexican convoys going down there. How is the Mexican front? Yes, good. The US is stabilizing and is indeed pushing in. The Mexican junta, who is a member of the Allies, is... Uh, sorry, the Mexican Republic is actually getting a little bit of leeway there. And so far... Panama garrison has held. Okay, yeah, the Chinese pushback in the center here is very impressive. Um, but could all, could all can't be brought to naught if we can't contain this Vietnamese attack. Oh, okay, and they did land. We will send some men down to deal with that while making certain. In fact, yeah, this area deserves its own general. For sure. Uh, let's give it this guy and remake some of these. 
Yeah, we're gonna have to remake all these garrison orders. That's fine. Okay, so Order. you here, you go here. You actually just fall back for now. You go here, and you guys, and you guys. Honestly, actually just join them in defense of that fort, because that seems to be the one they're going for. And we want to play defensively if possible. Okay, meanwhile, uh, planes over Malaya would not be a mistake, I think. Let's get a significant plane presence there, just to ensure that we don't have any issues. And you guys obviously can go on process port. Good. Okay, meanwhile, we have more planes deployed in the home front that need a little organization. We have uh, just fighters over the channel, so we're not actually going to mess with them. Meanwhile, uh, a heavier bomber presence over the med it seems advisable to me. And a long-range bomber presence also seems good. We may need to turn that down as, uh, as faced by increased resistance to them or perhaps fuel shortages. But we will, for now, see if we can maintain that. Meanwhile, perhaps a long-range bomber presence in Malaya in order to help us... There you go, we're holding this port, thank God. Um, in order to help us combat the enemy navy in the region and in fact yes let's send some naval bombers over as well sounds good okay and we are holding them here which is superb new decision all propaganda against japan not necessary okay here we have cleaned up the hanoi invasion putting them back sir you want to try and hold that port at all costs Give you another guy Good. That's, uh, that's two divisions the Japanese won't be seeing again. Meanwhile here, the line is still stable. Chinese look to be losing ground slightly in the north. But they're doing damn fine work. Damn fine work indeed against a seriously superior enemy. And they've gained serious ground in the north as well. China, you are an absolute beast. Is Japan having manpower shortages perhaps? I think they've got millions of spare manpower. They abandoned Saigon. Hey, Ready, France. Sir. Give me some divisions. Damn it. France, you're going the wrong way. These guys are under control. Damn it. I need men to retake Saigon. It's real bad. Alright, now the new guys can prepare to go on the offensive against them. In fact, they can do it straight away. Yeah, looks good. Yeah, you guys just hang out here for now. Uh, the subs, actually. You know what I'll do? I'll allow this area. Subs, see what you can do. Convoy raid in the South China. And we'll see if we can cut out, cut down on the amount of stuff they're going to be able to bring in to Saigon. Here is good pocketing potential if we could crush through here to Macau. That would be nice. But you know, a lot of things would be nice. Full contact with the enemies here. Facing mostly just Italian and Romanian divisions. Almost exclusively uh, Italian, and we are holding so far. Caucasus region could do with some planes that I've diverted to other places, but uh, you know, you can't always have what you want. 42 days left of fuel. Let's get some planes over the Caucasus. Uh, what have I got left in the tank, planes wise? Not a great deal. Well, some decent fighters actually. As soon as I say that, let's get them out we should obviously be using this this list should just say fighter bomber cas name for bomber strat bomber because you don't actually choose what planes go in the wing the game automatically changes that afterwards to the best fighters available the best you know of that category of plane available so i wish it would just make this screen much simpler I don't know why. Is it control click? No, just click if we want. Because it's just it's just unnecessarily complicated. I should write a suggestion about that. Ah, f I made them freaking normal manpower again. <laughs> Not close to support. Fighters. Good. Okay, and who's going to supply the sixteen hundred manpower? Sorry, sixteen thousand manpower. Why? The French. 
Good old Frenchies. You gonna do it for me? Good. Okay, still just about holding here. I'm so proud of the Chinese. I know I've said that a few times, but I really am extremely impressed with how the Chinese have acquitted themselves so far. Is that other tank we're researching? All oh, right, for hardness. Once we've invented um, Cromwell's, we're going to start building a bunch and actually deploying some tank divisions that will hopefully help out a lot. Are the French? Oh, they're trying to take up full back defensive positions. Oh, no, they appear to be very concerned that Siam is about to join the war. Which is interesting because they have shown no indication that they're going to... That I've seen, at least. We are going to buy a bit from, from them, the alliance with Spain. So bad. Right. It's abandoned Gibraltar. It's the only way. And hopefully we'll be able to rush through here and capture French, uh, Afri sorry, Spanish Africa Ready, nice sir. and quickly. It's not attack across a river. It's, it's needless. Um, right, and you were actually deployed Fall there in. in case Vichy France took this area. But Vichy France is not going to spawn because Italy has all the land. So we're good on that front. Spotting enemy navy in the English Channel. Not successfully, unfortunately. Okay, meanwhile, my eastern fleet has arrived. Okay, we'll let them reorg. And then we'll make some moves there. Meanwhile, that's a bunch of Japanese divisions that won't be troubling the glorious Chinese Empire. Not Empire, sorry. Republic? Are they a republic yet? Hey, China, do you have any elections? Not yet. Chinese state, we'll call it, shall we? Hey, Americans, how about you on the expeditionary forces of this region? No, they're not about that. How's Mexico? Ugh, Mexico's gaining ground again. Come on, US. This is embarrassing. Highly embarrassing. He's doing destroyers for bases. I will happily give you control over some naval bases in exchange for an influx of destroyers. I hope that event actually gives me destroyers. It doesn't just, you know, it's not just like a... Oh, you get a, you get a new design of destroyer or something like that. We're holding the line here... Perfectly. I haven't seen I haven't seen a single problematic battle, which is just superb. Ready. Absolutely superb news. We could try some offensive maneuvers, um, but I don't dare. I'd rather just sit here. Honestly, the Soviets are probably further towards capitulation now. Yes, seventy-seven percent. It's going to take them a while to go, though. And you know, every every day they hold on is damage they're causing to the German war effort, which is, of course, greatly appreciated by all of us here in the Allies. Looks like they have actually abandoned the eastern area, so they're going to lose Saigon again. That's good. Very good. We have enemy superiority over that sea. That doesn't seem like a big deal. You guys can cease operating. Save me the fuel. So this area has stabilized. Then return to your ports. How are we doing on these guys? Some coming out pretty soon. That's good. We can beef up um, our Norwegian defenses first off. And then the second detachment probably going to come over here. And we're going to see if we can drive out the Japanese. I think I have enough men deployed. That's definitely not enough. But we can we can steal some of these guys maybe. Okay, let's do that now. Um, this front looking relatively stable. Especially because we're not bordering Germany. Of course, Germany's likely to take this land in the peace deal, which means we will then be bordering them. But hopefully Romania will get some of it. The AI, in case you're not familiar, prioritizes their own borders over their allies. Which, you know, makes sense. Let's get some radar going here as well. Fort's going up nicely. Uh, 10. 10 is really excessive. Let's go. Because it costs so much more to build the high level ones. Let's go. Let's go three below. Yeah. Apart from anything else, I need these forts in the east ready. Should we be going... Should this be the line? Or should we be holding behind this river? We should probably be holding behind this river. At least for the section where that's plausible. But still only every tile can be attacked from two directions apart from the eastmost one. So yeah, let's switch it up here. And it's no, it's no longer a, uh, a front or anything, so... That seems good to me. Yeah. Pull back slightly. Superb. Um, Alright. In the east. Nice! The French have just driven them out of here themselves. Damn fine work. You two head to China. 
Let's extend this front a bit. Let's uh, stabilize slightly more of it. Good. Um, except one of you actually is going to need to come down here and hold Saigon. Good. Um, where else could we reprioritize troops? Right. Here. We need... Uh, you're not needed in Marrakesh anymore because we're no longer concerned about Free France declaring independence. Uh, Order. Same logic here. You two. Come down here. Ready to move. And we should have a... Yeah, in fact, we do have... Attention. But aren't using, with these guys, a Spanish containment army with a decent general who's not overstacked. Good. And actually, one of you could come from the south. Cut them off from both directions. Seems smart. Yes, sir. You guys on that one. Good goody. And this guy already has someone assigned to him. Nice. Um, anything else? I think so. I could send this fleet to the east as well. Yeah, let's take the cream of the crop when it comes to this fleet's screens and send them eastward. Hopefully they'll make it. It's a decent detachment, so I have hope. Nice. And we destroy her down. <laughs> Huge screening force deploying against them. Probably excessive. In fact, yes, now that we've destroyed so much of the German surface navy, we're down to just 11 ships, I'm going to remove my capital ships where we have them from our scout forces. I think they're not necessary. You, you're a miner. I don't know if I even have a mining force anymore. You can just go to the east. Honestly. But no, I didn't mean to... What have I done? This is. This should be the... Have I just cancelled all my deployments? No, good. They're all still going to it. You are the reserve. You do not merge with anyone. Scouts and screens and scouts. In fact, let's, let's, let's do a sensibly. The screen should head straight to the east. Scouts can get into one of these scout forces. Good. <clears throat> the empty screen can head. No, this is not what I told you to do. Look. <laughs> Listen here, Sonny. Cancel your order, go in the reserve, merge in the other bit. Okay, there we go. Good, good, good. Just a matter of getting used to it. You guys are undergoing repairs after taking some heavy losses, looks like. It's unfortunate. Life goes on. Okay, um, good. We've decreased our fuel usage quite substantially having done that. Now, our planes arriving turned the tide here, which is excellent. Let's turn them off. Um, hundred of them can come up here, fly over South China, try and help out there. Um... We have military access, but you can't send... Oh, we haven't given them an attaché? Oh, we should totally give them an attaché. It's going to hurt. It's gonna be expensive for us, but they'll get uh, more division organization and stuff. That's that's useful. That's very useful. I'm going to do that. Moving towards better mortars. Oh, plus it gives us vision on all their stuff. I didn't know that. All right, we've got the mortars. That's excellent. Let's go on the um, tech front. And I think... Um, going down the destruction route is actually really good because if we can stabilize in the east even take out japan and hold here and here then maybe the way we go against germany is a campaign of a huge bombing campaign of strategic destruction against them especially before we attack targeting their airfields strikes me as a highly highly sensible maneuver destroyers of bases okay so we get 40 three American destroyers, and hopefully we also get the seven that would have gone to Canada. They get Bermuda, Newfoundland, Leland, South, Southern Bahamas, and Jamaica. Yeah, absolutely. I have no use for those places. Of course. Have at them, United States. That frees up some men for me, if nothing else, which can head over, uh, honestly, maybe to create a freaking defensive line in Houston, but no, I want them... They're not going to get here alive. Let's send them over to help against Spain for now. And they've taken Jamaica off me my hands as well. Yeah, good. I mean, there's, there's no, no factories over here. So it doesn't hurt me at all giving that up. Meanwhile, look at this. 43 destroyers. 
Although, I am sad to see I did not appear to get the Canadian ones. Where do they appear? They appeared in Sussex. They're all old, but that's fine. That's absolutely fine. Are they all that old? Yeah, they're all tier one destroyers, it looks like. But these guys, you know, they're not worthless. Oh, thank you, Paradox, you gods. They added a design tab so you can actually see what's on them. That's superb. Yeah, I mean, they've got some torpedoes. You know, this fleet would have a non-insignificant torpedo attack. Nice. That's really good. Okay. So, we'll split it. And split it again. There we go. Four new scout forces. That's what I like to see. Currently, don't really need them. Um, what I think I'll do, actually... What kind of guys are you? You're technically screen class destroyers. Can I change that? Yeah, you, you are scout class destroyers, my man. Okay. Let's start using our reserves properly. And saying, hey, you guys. Uh, first off, you don't need that. And you guys. You, anyone else got any capitals? No. No capitals on our screens for now. We're trying to save fuel. So you guys. Uh, what is this? VW class? Okay. Class force composition. You need... Yeah, no, no screen destroyers. Well, I might have a template for it. 10-1 scout. Yes, but it's a light cruiser. It's a light cruiser I want. Give me light cruiser. And sure, shield light cruiser. That's the only kind we're going to have. One shield light cruiser. Save that. Okay, done. Each of these, because that's what I want. 10-1 scout. And then we can have them reinforce automatically. And all these screen destroyers that we've got, we'll, uh, we'll actually use as screens. Because we have desperate screen deficit across the board. And these new destroyers that the Americans have given us are going to be invaluable in terms of actually doing the scouting for us. So yeah, they all suddenly get vastly diminished. But they have more men on the way. There we go. 90 ships are going to show up in our reserve soon. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, these guys are in good, immediately in combat, probably because they're faster now. <laughs> but unfortunately, you know, in combat without the normal numbers they'd have. <laughs> That's okay. They'll reinforce up. You are, you're still scouting. Yes, we have no bananas. <laughs> so we're shortage, but we are the British spirit keeps up, as the event says. Nice. Uh, what Ready. a British head. Done here. Okay, we got 42 divisions at my disposal. Okay, yes, 10 men. With 10 men and a place to rest them, I could hold back the Kriegsmarine. Give me an massively increased Norwegian garrison. Good. That will do. The remaining, we are going to send a serious attachment. China, you have fought just valiantly. Absolutely, incredibly valiantly for a long time and we are now going to recognize your fantastic accomplishment with a vast force detachment you are going to receive huge reinforcement from uh, Bert Bert here with his charismatic hill fighting doctrine he is going to be the man that saves you we're going to send him over with Oliver Lee, no less. Five attack skill. A superb general to have at your side. Alongside him will stand Archibald. Good, strong name. <laughs> you guys need a new icon. That'll do. Okay, so first off, we just want you over here. You, you can rally. Okay, well, we need to worry about enemy ships. Step one, I think, we're gonna we're gonna control these guys manually. We can't allow these guys to, to die by uh, lack of care. But let's send the men now. Let's uh, let's let's you know commit. Let's do this. You guys deploy. Okay. There we go. There's 24, and there's another 14 under Wilson, glorious Wilson. God, no, this guy. Good. Orders. He should have uh, more men. Orders. And he should go first. Good. Okay. So all you guys, get your butts down here. Step one, 
You're not allowed. You're absolutely forbidden from taking to the sea until we have our screen forces properly reinforced. So he needs more destroyers. You guys, be screens. There we go. Now they're all reinforcing up. Oh, it's just, it's, oh, it's, it's fantastic is what it is. Okay, you guys should all still have the screening order, right? Yeah, good. The boat's gone yellow. Low amount of depth charges. Low sub detection. Well, that's because you're tr trash. <laughs> they are 8%. How can they be at 8%? That can't be true. This is the United Kingdom fleet. Hold for a second. All right, convoy escort. It can't be 8%. Is it, why, why is it 8%? What is your mission efficiency? Can I see that? Is it here maybe? It's operating in a signed area. Okay. Why is that so low? If I sent out these guys suddenly to, uh, to convoy escort these regions, what would we be at then? Still 8%. Escort task force is 7. Mission efficiency is 8%. I think they just need a moment to, to regain their... Regain their, their efficiency or something. We'll give them a second and see what happens. Meanwhile, invasion, Eastern Micronesia. Another invasion in Malaya. Okay. First off, activate the planes. Second off, they're going after the same naval base. Let's presume they're landing in the same location. And send some men. One guy strat redeploying in could slow them down. Just what we need. How is it 8%? Is it just because their sub detection is so bad? And there's some good subs in. There's some good destroyers in here. So. I don't know. Anyway. It's a problem for next episode. Meanwhile. We have. Yeah we've got good. I mean we have total supremacy in these regions. There's friendly ships here. There's lots of friendly ships. Good. Okay. You guys. All, in. All of you. Pause first off. I'm going to have your head down. Casablanca. You should not get intercepted. Unless there's no friendly ships here. There's no enemy ships there, though, so we're good. Okay, we're going to go down to Casablanca. We're going to take a road all the way to China. Because <laughs> I do not trust my guys to go further than that uh, by sea. The patrols appear to have ceased for some reason. Why are you... Where are you? Moving to a signed area. Okay, good. What about the third patrol? I don't think we need to be patrolling in the western approaches, to be honest. Patrolling here and here seems fine. It's the German fleet that I'm concerned about in this region. The, the, the Italians are sticking to their their zone, I think, for now. Okay, good. With the huge Chinese force heading over, I'm feeling pretty good. You should be under this guy now. You, you're also Chinese. You should be under this zone. Good. Ready! What are you? You're the Malaya hold, right? No, you're the yeah anti-Spanish force. Okay. Excellent. Well, I'm going to call it there. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the episode. In the next one, maybe Soviet capitulation. We'll see. We will uh, We will then have our, our lines tested. Our forts are almost complete in the west, at least. Uh, looks like my forts on this side were not bumped up. So let's change that. Uh, and then we will see what we can also do against... Japan in the east with our m main forces moving over. I have good hope that we'll be able to hold them back. The Chinese have been doing just absolutely fantastic work so far. And we'll see if we can capitalize on their uh, their glorious deeds going forwards. Either way, thank you very much for watching and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.